morning everybody how's it going I thought I'd uh, share something I've been going through a little bit um, I'm sure a lot of you can relate um, I've been going through uh, <laughs> anxiety like crazy um, I'm gonna do another video a little bit about <laughs> getting to know me because I haven't really done a video on that just so you guys get to know me as a person a little bit but um, my wife and I own a couple businesses and I've been an entrepreneur pretty much my whole adult life and my career without me realizing it was crafted around managing my illness because for the brief time that I was not an employee or an, or I was an employee I struggled like crazy and uh, my illness was a real um, problem where I was not able to just yeah function very well in that environment so being an entrepreneur has allowed me that flexibility to have a good day or a bad day or have a permission to do that or take some downtime to just get my thoughts recollected and not have some person over my shoulder telling me what to do the downside of being an entrepreneur is it's it's in many cases the most stressful career path you can take the unpredictability of how things go, the cataclysmic problems that can occur, the legalities, uh, people trying to go after you, filing lawsuits, um, financial absolute <laughs> collapse. I've seen it all. I've had the good times and the bad times. So one of the things that I always struggle with in giving over to God is I've been in sales this entire time and it's not really been by choice as it has been by necessity so I'm the breadwinner I bring home the bacon and in the end God brings home the bacon but it's easy to feel like that you know you're not doing good enough or things aren't working out and you're afraid of what's gonna happen next and happen next I've had this sort of sixth sense, I think it, I attributed some to my illness of, I can sense when things go bad or they're going to go bad. And more often than not, my gut is correct. Not always, but I tend to know or feel when maybe because of my emotional intuition, if a customer's gonna get really angry or we're gonna run into a problem where we tick people off, um, it's a service-based business. It's kind of in the marketing. I do a lot with technology and websites and social media. So, I mean, <laughs> I'm talking to you guys using it. So, we typically have really crappy starts to the year. We've had a good start. It's been very blessed. And now we're hitting the dry spell again. And again, this is more than a worry. This is a grind. This is a cycling through my head at a level that's hard for me to focus. And this is to me where I can be disconnected and not be present when I'm around my family. Because I'm thinking about the things, you know, over and over and over again and things that didn't work and how that's gonna affect this and affect this. And ultimately, the, the, the stress financially has been the hardest thing for me to uh, accept being an owner it's been hard on my family it's been hard on my wife it's a choice I made I can't complain about it I don't deserve any pity but I won't deny that it's it's difficult and uh, in days like today's it's it's an it's a harsh reminder that my anxiety hasn't gone away it's it's there and it's alive and it, it festers and it's can derail me if I'm not careful so I gotta pray I gotta ask God just to help remind me of all the truths as it relates to how he only wants us to worry about one day at a time he only wants us to know that he's gonna he's gonna take care of us we just have to trust him will provide I've seen it I've seen miracles occur guys where 
I've had envelopes show up on my door with $1,000 in them. Uh, I ended up finding out who it was, but I had no idea what, who it was that helped just my wife and I pay bills. Hey, you want to talk about something that is <laughs> humbling and beyond comprehension is when you have you don't have enough money to just live day to day and all of a sudden money shows up in your doorstep. That blew my mind, and I, I attribute that entirely to the, the man is a, is, a, is a believer, and he had prayed um, heavily and ultimately was moved to put a check or put a thousand dollars in our mailbox. I got to remember stuff like that because, you know, I'm always afraid of the, the pain of not having enough and you know, not being able to have enough for groceries and things like that and, you know, putting stress on my kids and my wife. I, I, I worry about that. And I think every person that, you know, maybe is a responsible guy or gal, man or wife in terms of, or individual for providing for yourself, it's difficult. But when you have a mood disorder, it kind of exacerbates the problem and it makes it a thousand times worse than it is so yeah I mean if you feel like it say a little prayer but I, I share this more for the purpose of just you know this is I'm right there with you guys and hopefully I can follow my own advice and just trust in God and his plan and what he's doing and just that you know ultimately some of the the dry spell of finances will not throw us into a, a tailspin. So that's all I got. Appreciate you listening. God bless you all.